Hi, uh, this is a quick video showing how we can use Pond scripts on Can Extra, which is one of our products. Can Extra has many networks, including Can, J1708, and Lin, uh, Capture, Compare, PWM. Um, many of them are on the DB25. And then also on the other side, we have Ethernet, USB, and a micro SD card, all accessible from scripts. Um, not only scripts, can extra can uh, also has many of the many applications that are already built in, and uh, one of the options is to run Pawn scripts. Now, if you are not familiar with Pawn language, it's uh, basically C. Uh, this is code that's written in Pawn, and if you look at it, it's almost C. Uh, like as far as what we are looking at right now, it's 100% identical. Um, this will be a little bit different. Now, if we um, now if we select, if we want to, we first we put we write the script on um, on the IDE. We compile, and we see it completed. We had two warnings. Uh, I'm just going to ignore those. And then um, now over here, I am going to select um, from the menu. I'm going to select run uh, execute uh, pawn script. And now it's going to give me five seconds to connect. I'm going to click program, connect it, transfer, and complete it. Now it's going to give me another five seconds to debug, or it will run the script. And you can see here that we got this on the terminal. Uh, Can Extra has serial port, and um, we printed out JT Electronics, and it did run the script on the screen and the program that or the script we run exited and it says here result is 5 that means the program has returned with 5 which is we do this load 500 times and then we return 5 and this is where the 5 came from now um, I'm gonna go back to the main menu here and I this time we wanna step through the code and see how we can debug the code so press enter on the uh, keypad oh you can see the enter button if we press enter here and now it's gonna enter and I'm gonna click run this time instead of uh, transfer and you can see that how we stopped at this breakpoint so I'm gonna step one more and you can see that we got another GH electronics uh, this was printed out from the debug console so we initialize the console as debug uh, you'll find more information on this in the manual. Now we're going to initialize the console for LCD. From now on, anything we print, it's going to show on the LCD. Uh, we're going to clear, and notice how it's going to clear the LCD when we do one more step. Boom, it's clear. We step uh, a little bit more in the variables. Now we enter the while one loop. We set the brightness to F, which is maximum. And now uh, we draw a uh, rectangular on the LCD and we see it now we locate where we want to print and we're gonna remember how print f now prints to the screen and yes it printed can extra runs pawn um, we locate again we're gonna print the count and if count is more than 500 return 5 it's not it's still 0 and now we're gonna go through this loop 100 times draw a circle draw a line delay 10 millisecond and now we erase and we do some, ma some uh, simple math so we can bounce the ball and uh, we go back and draw and now the circle will go in the new position um, that's all for this video thank you very much for watching